where the evil horde hides out. The Fright Zone! You put it together, Fright Zone. He-Man, Hordak, and Man-at-Arms figures each sold separately. So nice of you two. Stop in for lunch. The Fright Zone! Fright? The Fright Zone! Fright? The Fright Zone! Your overgrown lizard doesn't scare me, Hordak. Oh, no! The Fright Zone! The Fright Zone plays at you from the Evil Horde and Masters of the Universe collection. Action figures each sold separately from Mattel. Alan, drink your Ovaltine. It has vitamins and minerals. Oh, do I have to? It's got a new chocolatey taste. I can't get over Ovaltine. It's so delicious now. It tastes fantastic. Wow, it's a whole new scene. Oh, 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 Ovaltine. I can't get over Ovaltine. I can't get over Ovaltine. The whole new taste you won't get over. I can't get over Ovaltine. Also available in sugar free. I'm Lewis, the lifeguard, and happy to say I rescued a drowning potato today. They drowned in its sour cream. Oh, what a shame, because food's so much better when it's practically plain. No. So don't drown your food no. in mayo, salt, ketchup, or goop. Yuck, it's no fun to eat, but you can't even see. So don't drown your food. Fresh Hot Cookies! Hey, OG, what's that book you're reading? It's the book on which today's ABC Weekend Special is based, The Bolo Caper by Art Buckwald. <laughs> it's about a golden leopard. Gee, I've never seen a golden leopard. I know, they're practically extinct. Hmm. What does extinct mean? It means there aren't any. They're all gone. <laughs> Say, could I have one of those cookies? Oh, mm, sorry. These cookies are... extinct! Oh. For TV? Oh, Bolo. Oh, that's my favorite. Thank you. Oh, uh, well, uh, I've searched all over. As far as I can tell, we're the only golden leopards left. Where did they all go? I don't know. They just kept disappearing one by one. Hunters and trappers, I guess. Then we'll have to stick closer together. Sure we will. We'll have a great time. We live in a wonderful, wonderful place. We've got everything we'll ever need here. I love the jungle. I'll never leave it. I'll never leave you. Excuse me, Mr. Phalanx. Lula La Looch, the famous and glamorous movie star, is calling you. She says it's a matter of life and death. Oh, that woman. She drives me absolutely up the wall. Lulu, sweetheart. Poopsie. What a wonderful surprise to hear from you. You've made my day. Darling Felix, I've got problems. You tell Felix everything, my little Lulu. Poopsie. Oh, I don't have a fur coat to wear to the movie, movie awards. But this year alone, I sold you five minks, three sables, one chinchilla, and a floor-length silver fox. Oh, Pooh, everyone has seen me in them. I want something fantastic, something that will make Hollywood flip when they see me in it. Something fantastic? And Felix, money is no object. <laughs> Got it. No problem, Lulu Poopsie. Felix will come up with the fur to end all furs. Oh, darling, my career is in your hands. <laughs> hmm. 
Lulu wants the fur fantastique. I'll give her the fur fantastique. I'll create a coat that will be the greatest I've ever done. Amelia, get me the Carstair brothers in Africa. Fantastic, eh? What Felix, let me see. Oh, wait, I know. Yeah, just the thing. There's this rare golden leopard we heard about. The natives call him Polo. They say his coat is like nothing ever seen before. Exactly what I want. I've got to have him. Is he on the endangered species list? That's our loophole. Bolo is supposedly extinct, so he's never even been on the list. Yeah, that makes him fair game. Tell him it'll cost $15,000 to put an expedition together to find him. $15,000, Felix? Money is no object. I want that leopard, and I want him alive. I'll make this coat from scratch. His hide will adorn the most glamorous star in the world. I'm done with him. Ta-ta. Clamper. Uh, yes, Snag? Let me uh, set the trap for Bolo, huh? So, what do you want to do today? Whatever you want. Well, there's a monkey couple teaching their baby to swing from branch to branch. How about watching them? It's very funny stuff. Well, that's got possibilities. I could use a few laughs. Let's go. Say, what's that racket? I don't know. It doesn't sound like a drumagram. I'm getting bad vibes about this, Nefertiti. Go up to the top of this tree and hide. Stay right there till I come back for you. Be careful, Bolo. You're all I've got. Don't worry now, Nefertiti. I'll lead them away and be right back. He's looking at you, kid. Brad, no sight of him yet. Maybe we should... Clamper! It's him! What do we do? Uh, uh, uh... Uh, there he goes! Oh, let's, let's uh, he's going right down the wheel. Uh, run, 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 get Come on! Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got him! Yeah. Look at that belt! Oh, Felix will go away! The money is as good as in the bank, Clamper, old boy! <laughs> Give me the tranquilizer. We'll put him to sleep. Oh! We'll return after these messages. Why are alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat the fun. F is for fire truck. There's a fire truck in my alphabet. How does it taste? <laughs> e is for duck. There's a duck in my alphabet. How does it taste? <laughs> Alphabet cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. You can eat the fun. The best. Mmm, <laughs> mmm. My super golden crisp cereal with eight vitamins makes this nutritious breakfast really neat. I just love that sweet crispy wheat. Doobie 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 doobie. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. What's up, Croc? Don't be bashful with that box, sugar bear. Put the pole in the bowl. Time for a vitamin pack punch. In case he bit off more than he could chew. I can't get enough of Super Golden Crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. Now, back to our story. Gosh, what kind of place is this? <laughs> it's a pressurized cargo jet used for illegally smuggling wild animals away from their homes and into other countries. Make your ears pop. I love it. <laughs> We're en route to the Big Apple, New York City. New York? What, what am I going to do in New York? Well, we've got good news for you and bad news. Tell them. The good news is, we hear a hundred million people are going to see you on TV at the Movie Movie Award. Uh, the bad news is, you'll be the fur coat draping the famous movie star, Lulu Lalouche. No one is going to make me into a fur coat for some movie star. I've never even seen one of her pictures. Darling, I think we lost the 
the photographers. I hope so. I wouldn't want them to see you here. Why not? Well, this isn't exactly on the up and up. We're avoiding a customs inspection and <clears throat> cutting a few corners and all for you. <laughs> but I'm worth it. <laughs> Be careful, he's a wild one. Oh, oh Felix. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> well, Felix, here he is. Ah, uh, yes, uh, thank you, Snag. Now, Lulu, Poopsie, I present you with one of the all-time great beasts, a king of the jungle, a king for a movie queen. I give you Bolo. Oh! Whoa! Bolo, he's gone. Gone. My beautiful fur fantastique is gone. My coat? Where is my coat? Where's your coat? Where's your coat? Felix, do something. Snag. Yeah, nice, Bolo. Oh, you paparazzi. No pictures now. Hey, he's getting away. After him. Get up, light, and come on. Don't let him. Don't let him get away now. There he goes. Go, Bolo, go. You had a boy, Bolo. <laughs> Where'd he go? Come on. Swing that light over here. Oh, my gosh, Ned. There he is. Now look what you did. Give me that light and be quiet. Been running all day and still have no idea where to go. Oh, I sure wish I was back in the jungle. See, that looks like family. When in doubt, stick with the spots. With information on Bolo should notify the police or contact the Carstair brothers. Bolo is considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Me? I'm just a pussycat. Titi, I miss you. That, that sounds like, like home. Hello there. Uh, a lovely evening, isn't it? What are you doing out there? You the new cat from the Bronx Zoo? Uh, no, I just flew into town from the old country last night. Oh, you must be Bolo, the one who's taken New York by storm, the one who's given old Felix a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I had hoped you could give me some advice. I'm... I'm in a lot of trouble. Aren't you on the endangered species list? What's that? Well, that's when you and your species are disappearing from the face of the Earth. It makes it against the law to hurt you. Oh, I'm disappearing all right. Nefertiti and I are the only two golden leopards left. So how do I get on this endangered species list? Oh, it's too complicated for me. Try the bear house. There's a polar bear named Iceberg who's on the list. Maybe he can clue you. I'll check with him. Thanks. Oh, good, good luck, luck, good Bolo. luck, Bolo. Hello? Uh, excuse me. Uh, are you Iceberg, sir? <clears throat> Whoever's waking me up better be the size of an elephant. I'm sorry to bother you at this hour. Uh, my name is Bolo. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm being chased by the, uh, uh, by the police, some angry hunters, and a frantic furrier named Felix. Oh, that Felix again. He helped turn the North Pole into a lonely place. It used to be jumping up there until he helped make seal skins and polar bear rugs fashionable. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I've got to get on the endangered species list. I'm very rare. You need the help of Congress. Ah, oh, what's a Congress? Oh bunch of men and women in Washington who sit around passing laws. It takes time. 
You could be extinct by the time they do anything. Well, how do I get to Washington? Head for Penn Station. Catch the train for Washington. One leaves every hour. I wish you good luck. <laughs> This is Chopper 5. Polo spotted in Central Park. Southeast Point. He's out of my range, Polo 1. Heading for you. It's okay, Polo. Steady by. Nobody's going to hurt you. That's right, and he's not going to run away from us anymore. Isn't that right, Bolo, old boy? We'll return after these messages. We were on the trail of the Frutosaurus. Look at the size of these tracks. The legendary dinosaur that lived on sun-kissed fun fruits. We're getting close. I can smell it. <laughs> New Fun Fruits Dinosaurs. Real fruit snacks from Sunkist. He's friendly. They're the biggest fun fruits you ever saw. New Sunkist Fun Fruits Dinosaurs. Now, back to our story. Hey, hey, Bolo. I think I can hold off these guys a little bit longer. How can I help you? I'm trying to get to Penn Station. What should I do? Well, there's an open manhole over on 59th Street. Hop into it and follow the sewer down to 33rd Street. The sewer connects with a tunnel that leads directly to the trains. You can't miss it. That's great. But it doesn't look like the Carstairs brothers are about to just let me run out of here. Here's the plan. Just scoot straight back under my legs and I'll block for you. Okay, let's go, team. 24, 68, hop! Hey, Clamper, he's getting away. Get over here and say hello to the nice horsey. Thanks a million. Good luck, Bolo. Give him one for the Animal Kingdom. Ooh, now look. You clumsy fools have let him get away again. Get in this car. We'll track him no matter where he goes. I must have that coat. <laughs> I'll freeze before I ever get to Washington. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure I can warm up in here. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry to startle you. It's just that you felt a little chilly against me. I don't see many cold golden leopards. <laughs> My name's Eleanor. <laughs> What's yours? Bolo, and I'm sorry to disturb you. I didn't realize finding Congress was going to be such a cold trip. Congress? Oh, what's a little fellow like you going to do with Congress? Well, I was told Congress could help me get on the endangered species list. That seems to be my only chance to escape being made into a... into a fur coat. Well, you certainly asked the right gal. <laughs> Politics are actually sort of a sideline of mine. <laughs> well, then you can help me? Oh, I think so. If you're not already on the list, it's because everyone thinks that golden leopards like you are extinct. Well, that means legally you don't exist. Now, all you have to do is prove to Congress you're alive. That's great! Can you write it all down for me? I've got to convince them to help me. Oh, certainly. <laughs> now, let's see. <laughs> this will do nicely. <laughs> now, let's see. And if you don't act quickly, Nefertiti and I will become fur coat ensembles, wall mountings, or rugs. We beg you to protect us wild animals from human beings who would turn us into coats. Sincerely, Bolo. Say! <laughs> Pretty good if I do say so. There. Now that should make them sit up and take notice. 
Here you are, Bolo. Your message to Congress, and maybe it'll help keep you warm, too. <laughs> Thanks, Eleanor. I feel better and safer already. Ooh, this is just terrible. That's the very train that Bolo jumped onto, and it passes us up because you buffoons can't keep this car working. Not to worry, Lulu. Oopsie. We'll have everything running in tip-top shape soon, and we'll be off to Washington to fetch your fur coat. That's right. And nothing will stop us this time. Well, this is it. Oh, I wish you were here with me, Nefertiti. Either I get Congress's help, or I never see you again. Well, it's now or never. Guess I'd better make a dash for it. Whoa. I guess I'm early. Well, just curl up out of the way and wait for Congress. Chair recognizes the senator from Missouri. My bill, if passed, will take the water from behind the dam and put it in front of the dam. to go now. He's ours. Don't wrinkle that fur fantastique. It's the president. Keep quiet, Clamper. Your Highness, on behalf of the people of this country, I bid you welcome to the United States. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm happy to be in your country and present you with this gift from my people. Thank you, Your Highness. It's beautiful. And now, I would like to present you with this gift from the American people. But this is wonderful, perfect. This is a miracle. The golden leopard is supposed to be extinct. This is the greatest gift. But it isn't exactly a... Say, what's this? This is remarkable, Your Highness. The writing isn't too clear, but... This is Bolo, the escaped leopard. He's trying to tell us that because of an oversight in the Endangered Species Act, He's not on the list and about to become a fur coat. He's asking us to correct that oversight, to save him and someone named Nefertiti. Hmm, I think we can fix that. We'll check with the Department of the Interior. We have these laws to protect endangered species, and we'll do all we can to uphold those laws. And I'm going to take Bolo back to Machunga and build a special protective sanctuary for him and for Nefertiti. They'll be safe there forever. Well, as for all of you, I'm going to see to it that nothing like this ever happens again. Felix, I'm putting you in charge of a special committee to prevent the illegal importation of furs. And you, Lulu, will be on that committee. Your job will be to discourage people from buying illegal furs. 
Felix, darling, can you design a non-fur coat for me? Ooh, something sensational. Yes, I can work with other materials. For you, I will find the fabric fantastique. <laughs> and as for you two... you to work this out. Yeah, it wasn't easy. I had to convince a lot of people that the only one who has a right to wear a leopard fur coat is a leopard. Oh, here comes the emperor. Do I look all right? Oh, you look fantastic. We'll return after these messages. Cars ultra hot speed seeker. It's ultra quick. Flame runner, ultra trick. Wind splitter, ultra rad. Solar CX4, ultra bad. Hot wheels ultra hot. Each sold separate. With metallic paint and high speed wheels, they're ultra cool. And that's what makes them ultra hot. Hot Wheels, Ultra Hot Speed Seeker, Flame Runner, Wind Splitter, and Solar CX4. Each sold separately. Some cars not for use with some sets. From Hot Wheels by Mattel. I've come for the quick start, Joe. Try and take it, leader one. You can win a GoBot in the Nestle Quick Challenge of the GoBots game. One in 32,000 will win the grand prize, every GoBot toy. There are 250,000 prizes in all. Keep the back road, Psykill. Keep my dust, leader one. Mm, you'll never escape, Psykill. You can look for this instant winner game card in specially marked packages of Quick. Or write Nestle Quick, GoBots card, P.O. Box 3273, Syosset, New York, 11775. Not the river! <laughs> Captain Crunch has disappeared. The captain's gone! If you find him, you could win part of a million dollar reward in the Where's the Captain sweepstakes. Specially marked Captain Crunch cereal boxes have entry blanks with clues and detective kits to help find him. Millions will guess, answer right, and you have a chance to be one of 10,000 winners of a $100 share of the million dollars. To enter free, write for one of the three clues to Where's the Captain, Box 3225, Syosset, New York, 11775. Now, where is the captain? Me now. The ABC Weekend Specials, John Bauman and O.G. Readmore. Today's ABC Weekend Special was the Bolo Caper, adapted from the novel by Art Buckwall. Hey, I once went to Washington to fight for a cause. Really, Bowser? Yeah, some oil company wanted offshore drilling rights to my hair. <laughs> On the next Weekend Special, a new neighbor disrupts the old gang. This is not a sidewalk. Stop! Baseball is an outdoor sport. This is war! Then the gang plans revenge. Keep taking care of everything. Taking care of business at Columbus Circle. This is Pat Morita with three good reasons to watch O'Hara. I'm cute, I'm smart, and I've added 200 pounds of muscle. My new partner. Join us for O'Hara tonight. Wednesday afternoon, don't miss Divorced Kids Blues on the ABC After School Special. This is ABC. Quiet day. So many secrets. Gotta keep them safe. Introducing Secret Bear from the Care Bears. You can pull the string and he talks. Sequence may vary. Hello? Someone wants to talk to you. I'm Secret Bear. You can tell me anything. <gasps> wow! Who's your favorite Care Bear? It's a secret. Come on over. I've got a secret. He got braces! I promise I won't tell. <laughs> Talking Secret Bear is part of the Care Bears collection. New from Kenner. It's time to brush, you're in no rush, because brushing is such a chore. But the new Crest Buff will make you jump. It's like you've never brushed before. Mm. Hooray, hooray, there's a neat new 
of the Universe Collection. Not for use with some figures, each toy sold separately. From Mattel. Dash for the dawn, late for school. Well, maybe so, but you no fool. Make a quick fast, it's a breakfast. Only fast, fast, yeah, quick fast. A piece of toast and one of these. Some peanut butter or a slice of cheese. Milk or juice to wash it down. It's a fast, fast, quick fast. It's breakfast in town. Quick fast. No time for breakfast? Have a quick fast. Another nutritional message from the ABC Television Network. Stanley, it's his birthday. Oh, it's his 
birthday. That's so sweet, Cribbins. Happy birthday. Cribbins, you're two weeks behind on your lunch money. If you want that protection, don't you? Be a shame for someone to take that new bike you've been riding around on. Hello there, kids. Well, hello, Uncle George. How nice to see you. I was just wishing young Walter here a happy birthday. That's my boy. Later, Cribbins. <laughs> He's such a con man. That's what gets me. Mr. Believability. No one's ever gonna catch him. Not with his uncle, the sheriff. It's not fair. How's a guy supposed to pay for the more important things in life? Like the werewolf movies and the new bike. And you've got to pay off the Stanley Islander protection racket. It's no use. It's hopeless. Nothing will ever change. Well, you don't have to look so surprised. Do you have any ideas on how to avoid Stanley? Uh, 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 what's the matter with you? I think you are turning into a werewolf. What are you talking about? Your face. It's covered with hair. Look. Your hand. Come over here. I gotta see this. Walt Cribbins. Is this your idea of a joke? Well, I think you've actually turned into a werewolf. This happen. What does it feel like? Do you have any idea how long you'll stay this way? Can you talk? <coughs> what? Are you trying to tell me something? Can you understand me? <coughs> well, you are still in there, aren't you? I don't even shave yet. Well, what could it be? It must be all those werewolf movies you see. You see them too. But I'm not as impressionable as you are. Thanks. I know. It's your mother's monster book. Maybe it's autobiographical. Cindy, that was an alien shape changer. That's it. You're an alien from another planet and changing into a werewolf is normal for you. Cindy? Oh, maybe your parents found you in a field. Like Clark Kent. Maybe they're aliens, too. Cindy! I just wonder why you changed now. It's not like it's a full moon or anything. How come it's only for two minutes? I mean, it's kind of short. Maybe it's a test run. Or maybe... Cindy, yes. are you through? Wait, we've got to get more information. About what? About you becoming a two-minute werewolf. Look, maybe it isn't anything at all. Maybe nothing happened. Maybe the light was bad. I'll meet you at the school library first thing tomorrow. Don't need this. Hey, 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 that was our shot. There was nothing by Amalgamated Rust. It sure was nothing. Number six on our super hot, super hit survey. The survey that lets you choose which records win or lose. It's 6.30 in the big town with a big sound. And for all of you heading in a downtown direction this early AM hour, we have a traffic advisory from George Gyro in the WOLF Whirlybird coming up in just a minute. And don't forget, we're going to take five, that's five lucky phone calls in the Big Bad Wolf Contest right after our short shot pick hit, Lint. <laughs> Oh, my goodness, who is this strange creature getting up so early? Kind of 
transformation is this?
sure the Delta evades is breaking out. They'll find me. Even if we're hiding out in these back streets, they'll put me on television. They'll write about me in trashy magazines. The most unforgettable two-minute werewolf. Two-minute. It's like I'm an egg. Well, at least you know when it's coming on. The itching. Great, terrific. An early warning system. What good does it do if you can't control it? Do you have any idea how long two minutes can be when you're a werewolf and you've got... Well, now minutes? that we have proof, are you going to tell your parents? Are you crazy? No. Good. And I guess we're just going to have to figure out how to control this thing ourselves. Look. What? Madame Zola. Maybe she can help. No way. I'm not going in there. It's bad enough you drag me down these back streets. Hey, but Chris, then you... I want to talk to you about something I saw late last night. Aren't we late for our appointment? He saw me. I know he saw me last night. He probably didn't see anything at all. Well, why didn't you just wait and see what he had to say? No. No, I don't even want to think about it. Probably wants to blackmail me. Oh, he told his uncle. The sheriff is after me. They'll probably have a posse out. Oh, he's gone. Come on, let's go. Not so fast. Do you think I don't know what you are? You're a wolf. you do that? What do you kids want, huh? Nothing. Nothing at all. Actually, we need some advice, Madam Zola. Come on, it's my day off. I'm busy. Skadoodle, you van most. Come on. See, Cindy, there's nothing she can help us with. Hey, wait a minute. Cribbins? How'd you know my name? on your backpack. Oh. Any relation to Wilma Cribbins? My mom. How'd you know about her? Wilma Cribbins is your mother? Yeah. I've read every book that she's ever written. She is the greatest. The greatest. You live around here. You know my favorite book of Wilma Cribbins? The Alien Shape Chain. But that brings me to our question. The way that little fella just keeps changing is fantastic. <laughs> Have you ever heard of anyone actually changing shape? Physically, I mean. Well, I used to be Mademoiselle Zola. <laughs> no, I meant into something else. Oh, you mean like a person into, uh, like, um, a werewolf, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you can control the spiritual side of yourself, could you control the physical side? I don't see why not. Well, is there a book or something that we could read? For Wilma Cribbins' kid, I would do anything. There is a book. Let me see if I can find it here. It's called The Spiritual You. I'm going to give you this book. You bring it back to me, huh? Okay. to work together. They give us a lot of homework now in the eighth grade. It's a dog's life, isn't it, Walt? Oh, by the way, I saw uh, Sheriff Whitmerger today. Posse. He said there were two more burglaries this afternoon. Oh, is 
that all he said? I know they suspect me. Only now they think I'm mixed up with these stupid burglaries. Try to feel the spirits. It's not bad enough that Stanley's after me, but now my own parents. The spirits are around you. What did I ever do to deserve this? Why me? The spirits are within you. Stop this. It's no use. You've been doing it for an hour. It's not going to work. Let's just forget it for tonight. And tonight's feature story, Poverty in Our Midst, is the wolf at our door. Ah! Let's go to the movies. They're playing the three little kittens go to fairyland. Perfect. You really are upset, aren't you? Why shouldn't I be? Cindy, they're going to put me in prison. They're not going to put you in prison. In the zoo, maybe. <laughs> Maybe you can get some inspiration. No, not now. I've tried enough for one night. Hi, Harry. Listen, we just had an anonymous tip to check out this theater. There's these burglaries, you know how it is. I've got a warrant to look around. Just have to check everywhere. seen me last night. Look at that smile. Shh. It is not a good smile. Even for Stanley. It is not a good smile. Well, thanks, Harry. And uh, sorry for the inconvenience. Just doing your job. <sighs> Get in there. I've never seen that. Why? Harry isn't a burglar. He would never do anything like that. Come on, Cindy, let's get out of here. Well, he wouldn't. I'm itching. I've got to go. I've got to go. Uh, wait a minute. Um, Cribbins, isn't it? I... I... Uncle George, I've got something to tell you. I saw young Walter and Cindy out very late last night. And then I saw him this afternoon in some strange neighborhood. And, well, they were just here, and obviously near the popcorn machine. I... I... What's your rush, Cribbins? You turning into a pumpkin? I wish. I've got to go! I wouldn't be in such a hurry if I were you. You can't keep us. You can't prove anything. You need hard evidence. She's right. Well, they're probably working together. Well, we do know one thing. We know who we'll be watching from now on. Turn after these messages. You're Snoopy. You're Snoopy. Uh. Snoopy. Looks like someone didn't have a good breakfast like I did. A Cheerios breakfast. When you fuel up with a nutritious breakfast like this one with tasty low sugar Cheerios, those O's will help keep you on your toes. Mine, Snoopy. Mine, Snoopy. You're that was mine, Snoopy! With Cheerios! When you hug them, when you squeeze them, when your hugs alone can please them, you feel the love of the hug-a-bunch. The hug-a-bunch. 
Huggabunch. Each sold separately. Imkins with Nuzzler, Huggins with Huggabye, Tickles with Giggler. Tickles, Imkins, practicing our bear hugs. Huggins, I have a special hug, too. Tickles, your tickle hugs make Giglet laugh. <laughs> Good work. Ready for more? Yay! Let's hug. <laughs> hug a bunch, friends. Each sold separately with a huglet. Imkins with Nuzzler, Huggins with Huggabye, Tickles with Giglet. New from Kenner. Share something no one else can. Yourself. From the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Mormons. This is ABC. It's a good time for the great taste. Big Mac, Vallejo, Fish, Quarter Pounder, Fritz Fry. It's a good time for the great taste. Big Nuggets, Coke, Big Shake, Sunday the Pie. Here come McDonald's Fast Macs. Pull the cars back once, they roll straight. More than one full, they twist, turn, and loop. Four different Fast Macs, each at a special price, with any food purchase at participating McDonald's. The Price is Right and the $100,000 Pyramid, tonight. Now, back to our story. basic 13 year old. My dad's a bank manager and my mom's a writer. She writes weird science fiction books about shape changers and things. Maybe that's why I like horror movies so much. Hey, whoa, happy birthday. Anyway, everything was going great until a couple of nights ago. My friend Cindy and I were leaving the movies when we ran into problem number one. Stanley Ollinger, the creep. Cribbins, you're two weeks behind in your lunch, buddy. They do have the protection, don't you? Such a con, man. The run-in with Stanley wasn't unusual. He picks on me and lots of other kids in the neighborhood, and I figured things would never change. Boy, was I wrong. Because then, right in the middle of the sidewalk, I turned into a werewolf. Cindy was a big help at first. I figured I had enough trouble. But then my dad read in the paper that there had been a bunch of burglaries around town. What's this? What? So now, I'm not only afraid of turning into a werewolf, but I'm afraid my parents think I'm involved with the burglaries. Later, Cindy dragged me into the library to see what we could find out. Why did I change? How come for only two minutes? That's how long I changed for. Weird, huh? This itch is driving me crazy. Cindy! Guess what happened? Yup, right in the middle of the library. All right. It's all the noise about. Once again, Cindy was a big help. This time, we almost got caught. What is going on? Walter, come out. Cindy said even though we had a close call, she noticed that I itched and scratched right before I changed. Our only clue. I had to get my mind off all this trouble, so that night we went to the movies. And who should show up? The sheriff. And Stanley, of course. The sheriff had to check the place over because of an anonymous tip he received about the burglaries. I didn't like the way Stanley was looking at me. Something was up. Then the sheriff found a necklace. How'd that get there? Uncle George, I got something to tell you. I realized the sheriff thought Cindy and I were the burglars. I had no idea what I was going to do. And I was changing. I'm itching. I've got to go. I've got to go. I wouldn't be in such a hurry if I were you. You can't prove anything. You need hard evidence. Well, we know one thing. We know who we'll be watching from now on. Well, it's been two minutes. I'm coming in. Walt, 
I've seen you as a werewolf before. I can't believe this. Can a guy turn into a werewolf in private anymore? Now, Wolf, don't worry. Don't worry? What do you mean, don't worry? I'm suspected of being a burglar. Even my own parents suspect me. Stanley Ollinger is out to get me personally. Who knows why? And I keep turning into a werewolf! Telling me not to worry? I think worrying is the perfect thing to do. I think worrying is exactly what's called for. Hey, Walt, keep your fur on. Well, fellas, I'm doomed. But don't worry about me. It's okay. I can handle it. About me? Obviously you're having some problems. Me? No, not at all. Or maybe you're in a difficult situation. No, really. Uh, and you'd like to talk about it. Nothing's been going on, honestly. I'm, I've just been tired, really. I must have iron poor blood. Maybe it's the food in the school cafeteria. Uh-huh. Well, let me put it to you this way. I think I know what your problem is. No, you don't. Walt. Mom, I told you. I don't want to talk about it. But I think I can help. No, you can't. I just need some sleep. I'm tired. Really, I'll be okay. My own parents think I'm a burglar. Just a matter of time.
on, come on. ribbons and we'll plant these on his buddy the movie house manager uncle george thinks they're working together anyway come on you follow me i'll go tell the sheriff the sheriff will never believe you hurry up i'm a werewolf not a superhero Stanley Ollinger? 
the sheriff's nephew? I knew he wouldn't believe it. That little rat. On the other hand, he and Tim had everything hidden in a shed in Tim's backyard. I'm getting the sheriff. Maybe the sheriff will believe in a dove. Cindy! Oh, no, you're not changing again, are you? Go out in the alleyway. Thanks a lot. I just thought of something incredibly important. And that's all you can say? Like, it's my fault I keep changing? Well, if it's so important, would you stop wasting time? Okay, okay. Stanley saw me following him. In other words, he knows we're on to him. In other words, they're probably back at Tim's house right now. Moving everything. And even if Harry does get the sheriff, by the time they get there, it'll all be gone. We've got to stop them. If only I could change now. Sure, every other time except when I really need to. Do something. Yeah, but what? Going out there. Well, he'll kill you. No, he won't. He'll beat me into a shapeless pulp. But at least we'll stall him. I'm just sick and tired of Stanley getting away with everything. Not this time. Anyway, maybe I'll look better as a pulp. Well, please! Stanley. Well, what have we here? Little Miss Cynthia. Don't touch that girl. <laughs> You're gonna stop me? As a matter of fact, yes. Walt. Change. 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 Oh, change. Change! Anything. It, it, it was just a gag. Honest. Please. Please don't hurt me. Walt! Walt, watch out! Two minutes. Why haven't you changed yet? Art. Well, we're doomed. Just when you started controlling it. That's it. You are controlling it now. Well, you've got to change back. Hurry. Back here. I'm coming. Well, you've got to change. All right. What's going on here? My own nephew, my sister's son, a common, ordinary thief. Well, Stanley, what do you have to say for yourself? He turned, he turned, he turned into a wolf. Another lie? Is that all you can think of? Well, let me tell you something, Stanley. Your lying days are over. But, but, but he did, didn't he? I was wrong about you, Walt. I'm sorry. Good work. I took a lot of guts. Yeah, both of you. Congratulations. Thanks. Now get in the car. Both he, of you. He was a werewolf. He had these, these hairy knuckles. It's about ten feet tall, cribbins. He leaped out of me. You know, he was... And he had these huge fangs. Well, Walter, that really did take a lot of guts. I gotta hand it to you. That was the easy part. Now comes the hard part. My parents. Your parents? They keep asking me what's wrong. You know how they are. I think I'm gonna have to tell them. Well, good luck. Mom, Dad, there's something I have to discuss with you. 
Actually, Walt, there's something we'd like to discuss with you. I know you think I'm mixed up with these burglaries, but I'm not. Something worse. Your father and I have been meaning to talk to you. I mean much, much worse. But we wanted to wait until the time was right. Actually, we were waiting for you to come to us. Fur comes out all over my face. I get fangs, pointy ears, I growl. But then we thought, obviously, now's the time. Mom, you're not listening to me. What I'm trying to say is turning into a werewolf. We know, dear. What? Well, we were wondering if you were going to inherit it. After all, you did have your 13th birthday, and you have been acting very strangely recently. I tried to bring the subject up, but you said you did not want to talk about it, so we really couldn't be sure. But then your friend Madame Zola called. She's a big fan of my books, did you know? And she said that you've been asking about people changing physically, and, well, uh, Walt, what I'm trying to say is, um, runs in the family. In what? Mom? You're a werewolf? And Dad? Not me. Dad, you knew about this? That's right. But you're so... Conservative. Makes a better cover, dear. Who would suspect a small-town bank manager of having three werewolves in his immediate family? Three? Grandpa. Grandpa? But he doesn't even have teeth. I suppose he has fang dentures. Now, Walt. I don't want to be a werewolf. Well, it's fun, actually, once you can control it. And we're a very harmless sort of werewolf. I mean, we don't go in for the scary stuff. Go on, try. All you gotta do is practice. Aw, oh, Mom, I'm a natural. We lie tell Cindy. You know, this werewolf stuff could be a lot of fun. Once I get used to it. We'll return after these messages. Captain Crunch has disappeared. <gasps> the captain's gone! If you find him, you could win part of a million dollar reward in the Where's the Captain sweepstakes. Specially marked Captain Crunch cereal boxes have entry blanks with clues and detective kits to help find him. Millions will guess, answer right, and you have a chance to be one of 10,000 winners of a $100 share of the million dollars. To enter free, write for one of the three clues to Where's the Captain, Box 3225, Syosset, New York, 11775. Now, where is the Captain? We know. Here's the new Barbie workout center. You put it together. Great shape Barbie sold separately. Talent and locker. We girls know where to set the pace. Right, Barbie? Workout center. Pedals going up, pedals down. Extra cycle really moves it around. Barbie lifts and weights on the sled. Barbie always can, never can. We girls can do anything. Right, Barbie? The Barbie workout center comes with an extra cycle and everything you see here. Barbie dolls sold separately. New from Mattel. Now, back to our story. We will return after these messages. Gleaming in the morning light, home of Shira shining bright, Crystal Castle. You put it together, Shira sold separately, you can pretend. Magic things shine everywhere, cause it has a secret power. Lifted high on a throne, Shira saved the world alone. Crystal Castle comes with everything you see here. Shira dolls will separately. New from Mattel. Now, back to our story.
This is ABC. Questions answered, one French fry. Okay, what's 10 plus 5? Uh, I don't know. Well, how many inches in the foot? Uh, I don't know. Thanks for watching my booth for me, Grimace. Oh, is this your booth, Professor? The answer is yes. One French fry, please. Mm -hmm. Ready? You bet! Go! It's the kid-powered McDonald's Fast Max. Yeah! Racing away, twisting their way to the finish line. I won! Four different Fast Max, each for a special price with any food purchase at participating McDonald's. What makes these cars ultra hot? Speed Seeker, it's ultra quick. Flame Runner, ultra trick. Wind Splitter, ultra rad. Solar CX4, ultra bad. Hot Wheels Ultra Hot, each sold separate. With metallic paint and high speed wheels, they're ultra cool. And that's what makes them ultra hot. Hot Wheels, Ultra Hot Speed Seeker, Flame Runner, Wind Splitter, and Solar CX4. Each sold separately, some cars not be used with some sets. From Hot Wheels by Mattel. Show and tell time. Another teddy bear? My teddy's name is Teddy Ruxpin. He talks, he tells stories, he... <laughs> Four batteries not included. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Can you and I be friends? Yeah. I really enjoy talking to people. I would like you... Teddy Ruxpin, the storytelling bear, comes with illustrated book and cassette from Worlds of Wonder. Lunchtime fun is mine. I've got Mr. O and great tasting spaghetti O's too. It's an owl alert. Quarter-inch box wrench, please. Quarter-inch, this end. Thank you. Dad, I've got it. Got what? Well, you said you needed something to keep this transformer warm. Try this. Mom's hair dryer. You better put that back before she misses it. It's perfect. It's the last part I need. She'll never miss it. Uh-oh, Mom just missed it. <laughs> And how is it coming? Well, it's finished. I just put the last crucial part in. Wonderful. May I test it? If I climb in and press a button, will it dry my hair? <laughs> no, dear, it won't. I I'm sorry I bought your hair dryer. I just had to have it. I'll buy you a new one. Oh, all right. Well, now we've all made contributions to this invention, and it's about time you told us what it is. I've created the ultimate scientific masterpiece. I've done the impossible. I've invented a time machine. Fantastic! Wow! Arthur, I hate to disappoint you, but the clock has been invented. This isn't a clock. This is a machine capable of traveling into the past and future. Past? Future? I'll test it this morning. Maybe go back a hundred years, or go a hundred years into the future. Mm, before the big test, Let's all have breakfast. It's nearly ready. Okay, dear. Uh, would you kids please pick up the tools before you come in? 
Andy, what are you doing in there? Just sitting. Don't touch the controls. Karen, do you really think this time machine will work? Sure. But none of Dad's inventions ever worked. I know, I know. Hey, wait a minute. Remember his automatic soup stir? <laughs> it splashed soup all over the kitchen. <laughs> Remember the automatic dog brusher? It pulled all the hair out of that dog and it fit down! Ouch! <laughs> Wouldn't it be wonderful if this one worked? And all we had to do is set the time dial and just press the start button. Andy, no! I didn't mean to push it! Shut it off! I don't know how! Time machine! My stomach feels funny, like I'm a fast elevator. <laughs> wow, that's better. The garage fuse must have blown. Let's get out of here before Dad comes. I'll replace the fuse. Karen, where's the garage? Machine. Where is it? It worked. It had to have worked. The machine's gone off into time. Where are Karen and Andy? Karen and Andy. Karen and Andy. They must have been in it. Started it up, gone with it into time. Which time? Past or future? I don't know. We'll return after these messages. Here are a few words about Levi's jeans and cord. <laughs> Levi's. Go, Gene, go! Kick the ball! Uh -huh. Go back, go back! Uh -huh. Okay. To a taste surprise, two scoops of plum juicy raisins in Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Kitchen of ten is the plan. He's learning now that he's thinking how he loves two scoops and golden flakes of bran. Two scoops! Let's go back again! Yeah! He can't resist the taste he missed. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Part of this complete breakfast. Two now, back to our story. vegetation and mineral samples. Oh, sure. Of course. Why not? Wow! Look at that one. Mama, love it. You better pick it. I'll drop everything if I try. You pick it. I can't get my hands free. Did you hear that? I heard it. What is it? What is it? It's time to go. That's what it is. Oh, isn't it? My cap! Hurry up! 
I'm trying. <laughs> it's a saber-toothed tiger cub. Hi, little saber-tooth. Good little saber-tooth. Uh, can I have my cat, please? That's a nice little prehistoric monster. Thank you very much. Hey, that's my favorite cap. Don't mess it up. It'll look better on him. Let's go. I'll have it in a minute. I'm wearing him down. Come on, help me. He's acting sort of wild. Better let him have the cap. He might be a sore loser. Ow. Something isn't right. Let's get back to the machine. Ah! Whoa, what a ride. That's the biggest, ugliest bird I've ever seen. It's a pterodactyl. It's a nightmare. Are you okay? I think so. There's no way out of here, except the way we came. Tell me she's cleaning her teeth, not sharpening them. I think we're on the menu today. She's after me! I won't let her get you. And 
And then I climbed it up here. Climbed? Climbed up here. Looking for some pterodactyl. Are there any people around? You know, like us? Oh, never saw nothing like you. You're fantastic people. You walk so funny. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Walk, walk. <laughs> Wow! You people make Bungie feel good! Long time since Bungie feels so good! Two more, Andy! You are so funny! <laughs> I like it! Quack! Quack! Bungie, I hate to interrupt the entertainment, but how do we get off this ledge? You just wanna go down there? Bungie take you down there, the way Terry Ducky take you up here! You mean... fly? Sure! Bungie fly! Just one small technical point! You don't have any wings! Bungie don't need wings. Come on, climb on me. Don't be afraid. Bungie, take good care of you. Karen, go here. Andy, go here. Bungie, no one to tip over. It's a matter of balance. <laughs> ready. Ready. Okay, humans. Bungie, ready. Ready for what? He's turning into a balloon. Hang on, Karen. The pterodactyl's crazy. I've read a lot of books about prehistoric times, and I've never come across anything about a bungee. Oh, gotta be in there somewhere. I'm hungry. Is there a place around here to get something to eat? Got plenty of food. Come this way. All the monsters eat this stuff. Yuck. <laughs> Where do the other bungees hang out? No more bungees. What happened to them? Bungee mother eaten by a... <laughs> a big one. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Then Bungee father fly over mountain and try to go higher and, and brush himself up. <laughs> he gets gone. That's a tough break. Sisters, brothers, cousins, aunts, and uncles, all bungees got eaten. <laughs> I guess we must taste pretty good. You mean you're the only bungee in the whole world? In the whole world. Bungee all alone. Can't talk to Terry Ducky or Dinosaur. I say to them, hello, Dinosaur, nice day. And he say, <laughs> Bungee got no friends. Where are your friends? You are? We'll be like a family to you. Like a sister and a brother. Oh! <laughs> Bungie picked nice stuff for you. You're a wonderful host, Bungie. But I've had more than enough. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Boy, I'm tired. We've got a lot of territory to cover to get to the time machine. We ought to rest for just a few minutes. Sister and brother rest. Bungie hungry. Find Terry Ducky eggs.
What's this? This is not Terry Ducky Eggs. Terry! Terry Andy! Don't worry, Terry. Bundy got you. Won't let Gasler plant eat you. You sticky, creepy fingers! Yuck, 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 yuck! Oh, my Terry Ducky eggs! Bungie got stormy rain!
Build another time machine and search for them century by century. It'll take a century to find them that way. Our children will be a hundred years old before you find them. Did you hear something? I'm worried about Bunty back there with those awful Tyrannosauruses. Ooh, what a nice place this is. This is where you live? It's Andy. My children have been mutated. And Bungie floated right up, almost into the mouths of the Tyrannosauruses to save us. We'd never have gotten back if it weren't for Bungie. We're so grateful to you, Bungie. Father, you got wonderful children. Bungie loved them. They're my sister and my brother. Hey, Bungie don't got father and mother. Please, be my father. Absolutely. It'll be a privilege to be your father. Yeah, I mean father. Oh, all right. Please, you'll be my mother? Of course. Uh, are you housebroken? He is, he is. <laughs> oh, mother and father, but you just rush you? What a family. I'll fix up the spare cave. Uh, room for you. Arthur will do some renovations. Fresh paint, curtains to match his hair. You're such a wonderful mother. My mother was just like you, always fixing up the cave, moving rocks here and there. Bungie hungry from trip. Go find Terry Ducky eggs. Bad news, Bungie. There aren't any Terry... Terry... Dactyl... Eggs anymore. How come? There aren't any Terry... Terry... But there are tons of chicken eggs. That's a chicken egg? That's a joke. <laughs> you people eat that stuff? You live dangerously. Bunty gotta have Terry Ducky eggs. What kind of place is this 20th century? discovery since we found out the world was round. Hmm. Doesn't look it. You might be the missing link between man and animal. We'll have to protect you until the proper arrangements can be made. Oh, I think it'd be best if you stayed in the house for now. If you say so, Father. Same old moon. Hey! I'm 
the new bungee in town. Wanna be my friend? Wait, stick around! Oh. Better go back to the cave. So where's the cave? Uh-oh, Bungie in big trouble. What's that? There's a human! Bungie asked human where Karen and Andy's cave is. Nice, thanks. Wow, what a cave. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, what is this, a dream? Oh, we never saw so many eggs. Oh, not Terry Ducky eggs. Oh, Chicky eggs. Those chickies very, very busy. Bungie gotta meet chickies. Talk them into making bigger eggs. Oh, Bungie hungry. Needy midnight snacky. <laughs> hey, what a mess. Bungie made a mess? <laughs> who, who, who said that? About the mess. Bungie, clean it up. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, sure. You do that. Hey, cut it out. You make worse mess. Please, there's a wild monster running loose through the eggs at the supermarket. And he talks and floats through the air. No, no, no. I don't want the airport control tower. Get a wild monster expert here right away. This report, something about a possible parakeet laying eggs all over the place? It's not a bird, it's a monster! <laughs> Can you handle monsters? Hey, what do you think this etc. means? Can I handle monsters, he asked. It's like a small elephant with long hair, and it flies and talks! It's ferocious! Hey, the more ferocious, the better I like it. I'm fearless. Animals fear me. <laughs> Here, boy. Hi! Bungie cleaned up this mess in two minutes flat. This little devil gives Bungie hard time. Uh, they, do you have a license? Have you had your uh, distemper shots? Better come along peacefully. Uh-oh. When do you think it's time to shuffle off? Bye-bye. Later. I don't know what you are or where you came from, but I'm gonna capture you. That's not nice. Gotcha. Oh, Andy. Oh, hey, sit, heal. No, no. That was a bumpy ride, huh? I don't know what this monster is. I've never seen or heard of anything like it on Earth. If he's not from Earth, then he's from space. Yeah, that's it. I just captured an outer space gold mine. We'll return after these messages. part of this nutritious breakfast. Now you can get a Swiss Smith sugar-free chocolate milk maker sample free in specially marked boxes. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a golden Graham day. Here's Data Night Barbie. Data Night canceled separately. We make work and love fun. Right, Barbie? Data Night Barbie. Meet Beefkeeping Stop. We can work from 9 to 5 and then change to Barbie. 
doll has a change around outfit. Ken doll sold separately from Mattel. Power Wheels Raider, Power Wheels High Rider, Power Wheels Classic Convertible, each sold separately. All battery powered with real motors. And its own power motor makes it go, go, go. Oh, oh, Power Wheels, oh, oh, Power Wheels, Power Wheels, Power makes it go. Your parents assemble them easily, then off you go, over the hills, around the trees. Oh, oh, Power Wheels, oh, oh, Power Wheels, Power Wheels, Power makes it go. Power Wheels Classic Convertible, Raider, and High Rider all run on rechargeable batteries, each sold separately. Come on, Medley. We're playing merry-go-round. I want to play, too. Whee! My little pony, merry-go-round game. When the merry-go-round stops on the color you've guessed, you stamp a pony on your picture. In the My Little Pony game, the first one to stamp all her circles on her picture wins. My little pony, merry-go-round game. I win. Let's play again. My Little Pony merry-go-round game comes with what you see here from Milton Bradley. Now, back to our story. Do you know how many calls I get from people who claim to have an outer space creature? Right! And this is the call you've been waiting for. Feast your eyes on this. <coughs> it's two sophomores under a shaggy rug with a fire hose. It's a bungee. Comes from the planet Bunge. Hey, hey, bungee, say something smart. No. Oh, come on. Wait a minute. The monster's trying to be a wise guy. I'll prove it. Look out! You're bruising me. And such a ridiculous voice. No imagination. Here, touch him. Test him. Okay. I'll pull that moth-eaten rug off and put an end to this fraternity stunt. Ouch! What you hurting Bungie for? Bungie didn't hurt you. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, that's more like it. That's fun. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what you've got here, but if it's the real thing, tonight we'll go down in scientific history. Financial history, too. I hope. We keep a 24-hour watch for outer space visitors. If such a visitor should turn up, we test them here. We can tell the real ones from the fakes. Speaking of fakes, uh, you said he can fly? I haven't seen him fly. Hey, Bungie, hit the ceiling. Come on, up, up, up. This cave's got a low ceiling. You better fly or I'll make Bungie burgers out of you. He talks! Oh, yes! Okay, Bungie, bring it down. Let's not give too much for Frankie. We begin the test procedure. Number one, name of creature? Who, me? Oh, that's easy. Bungie. Planet of origin? Planet? Where do you come from, he means? Oh, 100 million BC, about six blocks from the volcano. Hmm, never heard of that one. Must be a new galaxy. Are you visiting Earth for business or pleasure? Pleasure! Business. Now let's get this testing over with and close the deal. Just stand still right here. This is the creature matchup test. Pictures of every known creature will be projected on you to determine what you are. <laughs> that sounds fun. Let's see the creature. Hey, come it off! Oh, look out for that guy. These are automatic calipers. They will measure every part of you. They put all the measurements into a computer and compare them with other creatures' dimensions. Now, 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 just sit still, please. Oh, <laughs> come on! <laughs> sit still! <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> Don't do that! Bungie, are you sleeping? Bungie? Oh, that's a pretty 
plugger. This is the Archimedes Displacement Laboratory. This is where we measure the creature's cubic volume the easy way. Let out! Hang on there, kids. Gonna be a rough crossing. It's real! There's no question about it. The dream of my life has come true. Welcome to Earth, Mr. Space Creature. Oh, oh well, thanks very much. Okay, this bungee is worth big dollars. How much will you give me for him? I've got to have him. How much do you want? Don't buy me. I'm way overpriced. Shut up. You can't sell me. You don't own me. I captured you. I own you. It's the law of the jungle and outer space, too, I think. Bungie, go look for Terry Ducky eggs. So long, fellas. Hey, you're not going anywhere. Now, wait a minute. If the bungee says you don't own him, you don't own him. Easy on the schnozoa. I own him, and I'm taking him away. The deal is off. You can't take him. He belongs to science. To me. To science. Oh, Ben's in the hallway. Ben's got a couple of nervous eggs here to take care of. He belongs to me. It's the law of salvage. Ben's belongs to Ben's. I'm getting out of this joint. My bungee's getting away. He's headed for outer space. Bungee. Bungee. Oh, Bungee, where are you? There he is! Don't let him get away! I caught him once, I'll catch him again! I'm good at this! Uh oh, here come the bad news, brothers! He's going to fly! Don't worry, I'll ground him for good! Okay now? I I am. Yes. Yes, I am. You you saved me. After all I did to you, you you saved me? It's just one of those things. I must have that bungee. I'll pay you anything you want. Name your price. Bungee, quick! Fly away. Go back to your cave or your planet or wherever. This isn't the place for anyone as special as you. Take off! Blast off! Go! But Bungee just getting to like you. Hold that bungee! Don't let him get away! What bungee? I never heard of a bungee. What's a bungee? There he is! Bungee! 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 My family! Oh, Bungee, we were so worried. Where were you? Oh, all over the place. Bungee can't handle this nightmare. <laughs> Let's go back to the cave. Climb aboard. And now Bungie got a big tummy ache. Ooh, those chicky eggs catching up with me. I'll fix you a bucket of bicarb. Uh-oh. The, the eggs. Are the eggs hatching? Maybe hatch. Maybe blow up. Why don't I whip up a great big omelet? Those chicky eggs tear your guts apart. Baby Bungie's gotta have Terry Ducky eggs to grow big and hairy. Hmm, gotta start him off right. Only one place Bungie can get Terry Ducky eggs. Ready to go, Bungie. Oh, wish we could stay with you a million years or more. Didn't expect to give birth. You're a great father. Bye, Mother. Bunchy tried to raise my Karen and Andy as good as you raise your Karen and Andy. Andy? Thanks for teaching me to talk so beautifully. Bunchy teach it to baby Bunchy. Bunchy's always think about you. Never, ever forget you. Got a hungry dog in there. Let's get this turkey on the road. Next stop, 100 million BC. Oh, nuts! I forgot my camera. We don't even have a picture of Bunny.
Mackenzie. I wanted to show him to my friends. I don't think we should tell anyone about Gunji. Let's keep it our secret for now. That was really terrific of you, Dad, to give the time machine to Bungie. It was very generous of you to give away the first invention of yours that worked. We'll help you build another one, Dad. There's room enough for all of us to visit Bungie. Well, here goes my new hair dryer. Oh, it ain't much, kid, but it's home. This is ABC. Puppy, you're my one and only puppy love. You can show your pound puppy how much you love him with snuggly pound puppy outfits. And your hooded on t-shirts. We're going biking. Snap your pop jabbing jacket. Pound puppies and outfits, each sold separately. Whoa! Now let's walk to the park. Uh-oh, diner. Put on your dry doggy rain gear and you'll stay dry as a bone. <laughs> Hooded Hound T-shirt, Dry Doggy Rain Gear, Pups Jazzy Jacket, and Found Puppies all sold separately from Tonka. Wake up, all you sleepyheads. Colgate gets you out to bed. Now there's the Colgate Pump. We've got the Colgate Pump. It's a neat new trick, you know. Pump it on your brush and go. They've got the Colgate Pump. She's got the Colgate Pump. Even moms and dads agree what makes it good is MFP. Just the spot of minty gel protects your teeth as you can tell. Two great tastes, maximum fluoride protection, at your fingertips. Turn after these messages. Power Wheels Raider, Power Wheels High Rider, Power Wheels Classic Convertible, each sold separately, all battery powered with real motors. And its own power motor makes it go, go, go. Oh, oh, Power Wheels, oh, oh, Power Wheels, Power Wheels, Power makes it go. Your parents
guitarists assemble them easily, then off you go over the hills, around the trees. Oh, oh, power wheels, oh, oh, power wheels, 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 classic convertible, Raider and High Rider all run on rechargeable batteries, each sold separately. Come on, Medley, we're playing merry-go-round. I want to play too. Whee! My little pony, merry-go-round game. When the merry-go-round stops on the color you've guessed, you stamp a pony on your picture. In the My Little Pony game, the first one to stamp all her circles on her picture wins. My Little Pony Merry-Go-Round game. I win! Let's play again! My Little Pony Merry-Go-Round game comes with what you see here from Milton Bradley. Now, back to our story. When the Velveteen Rabbit first came to live with the boy, he wasn't at all real. Oh, yes, he was fat and bunchy, as a rabbit should be. His coat was soft and brown. He had thread whiskers, and his ears were lined with pink satin. But that was all he was. He had no slick new coat of shiny paint, nor a key in his back to make him work. In fact, he was different. And that created problems. rabbit I'm here to tell you the rules of this nursery number one we don't much care for bunchy fake rabbits number two clear off number three um, sergeant Jones uh, yes sir wind this rabbit up and send him on his way excuse me sir there seems to be no key this rabbit has no clockwork, sir. He's not real. No clockwork? Transportation unit? So the velveteen rabbit was banished to the farthest corner of the nursery. All made of shiny tin Our painted eyes look straight ahead We know we'll always win We always keep ourselves well oiled It really is a must For if we lack in maintenance We'll all turn into rust Just wind us up and point them away And set us to our task But will we beat our enemy? I'm shocked you have to ask we caught a mouse and saved the ball. We jumped the clan last night. There were ten of us and one of him. It wasn't much of a fight. Oh, it's fun to be a soldier, all painted black and red. We're glad we fight for this side. The other side just fled. Don't be upset, little rabbit. I've seen them come and I've seen them go. Nothing but clockwork and tick-tock. Figure all that wind-up stuff makes them real. But nobody's gonna love them. Yep, it's love that makes you real. The skin horse had lived longer in the nursery than any of the others. He was so old 
that his coat was bald in patches and showed the seams underneath, and most of the hairs in his tail had been pulled out to string necklaces. He was wise, for he had seen a long succession of mechanical toys arrive to boast and swagger, and by and by break their mainsprings and pass away. He knew they were only toys. Real. It's not how you're made. It's something that happens to you when somebody loves you. Not just to play with, but really loves you. Then you become real. Sometimes it hurts, because being real isn't always easy. It doesn't happen all at once either. It takes a long time. And that's why it doesn't happen to toys that break easily, or have sharp edges, or have to be kept in a box. Generally, by the time you are real, most of your hair has been loved off, and your eyes drop out, and you can get loose in the joints. You get downright shabby. But these things don't matter at all, because once you are real, why, you can't be made ugly, except by the people who don't understand. This will do just fine. Here we are then. A toy for you to sleep with. Rabbits are guaranteed to protect boys, yes, and girls, from storms. That night, and for many nights after, the Velveteen Rabbit slept in the boy's bed. At first, he found it rather uncomfortable. For the boy hugged him very tight, and sometimes he rolled over onto him. He pushed him so far under the pillow that the rabbit could scarcely breathe. And he missed his talks with the skin horse on those long, moonlit nights when all the house was silent. We'll return after these messages. Figure Castle Grey Skull and Thunder Punch He Man figure each soul separately. You put the castle together. With He Man over there, Grey Skull will be mine. Like I said, Bone Face, you hear the thunder here, but I feel the punch here. Thunder Punch He Man, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. Skeletor and Castle Grey Skull each soul separately from Mattel. What's happening in the land of Rainbow Bright? We represent the color kids, the color kids, and in the name of Rainbow Bright, we brighten up our rainbow land. Murky Dismal and color kids, each sold separately. Colors, what good are they? Green's fun, like me, Pat Air Green. And this is this violet make you smart, like me, Shy Violet. Ah, boy! Rainbow colors bring happiness. Shy Violet, Patio Green, and Murky Dismal, each sold separately. From the world of Rainbow Bright, by Mattel. If you want to hear music from a box like this, here's a high band blaster that you wear on your wrist. High band blaster. And would you look at this watch? Who would ever know? It can change into a robot radio. Robot radio. Chronoform non-radio watch is also available. Inviceptor Jet, Excalibur Gun, Scorpio, Autocron, Autoceptor, Kaltor, and the Robot Time Machine. Each sold separately. Now... Back to our story. Very soon, the Velveteen Rabbit grew to like staying with the boy. For he'd play and talk to him, 
They had splendid games all day long. And at night, dropping off to sleep, the boy would hold him tight. And so for the very first time, the Velveteen Rabbit began to feel just a little bit what being real is all about. But not everyone was happy with the Velveteen Rabbit. Right then, something must be done about this stuffed rodent. The boy is spending too much time with it. It'll warp his young mind. Besides, he's not playing with us much these days. All right, men. Execute plan number one. Follow me. This is the boy's bedroom. Ah! Nanny, I'm thirsty. I want some water. Go back to bed. I'll bring you some, dear. Uh, right then, uh, uh, all in, men. We execute plan number two tomorrow night. Regroup. Back to the nursery. Now go to sleep. Here's your old toy. That's not a toy, Nana. He's real. When the little rabbit heard that, he was happy. For he knew that what the skin horse had said was true at last. He was real. The boy himself had said it. That night he was almost too happy to sleep. And so much love stirred in his little sawdust heart that it almost burst. And into his boot button eyes that had long ago lost their polish came a look of wisdom and beauty. So that next morning, even Nana noticed when she picked him up. I declare that if that old bunny hasn't got quite a knowing expression. Right, men. This evening, plan number six. I, I believe it's number seven, sir. Uh, 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 as I was saying, plan number seven contains an element of surprise. This is a catapult. A simple device that will launch one of us <coughs> deep into enemy territory. Oh, yes, the rabbit will be very surprised. But first, a demonstration. Jones, get on. But, sir, I'm not very good at catapulting, sir. Oh, get up. Like this, Jones. See? Rather like a seesaw, isn't it? What's this lever for, sir? No, Jones, no! Yes, sir. You and I must have a long talk. Near the house was the Blackberry Wood, and in the long evenings the boy liked to go there to play after tea. He always took the Velveteen Rabbit with him. But before he wandered off, he made the rabbit a little nest somewhere among the bracken where he would be quite cosy. Looking rabbit? It is a bit. Do you suppose he's asleep? You ever see a rabbit sleep with his eyes open? Well, Beech Leaf does. He's a bit weird, though. True. Hey, uh, you want to play? What's wrong with him? Wait a minute. He's not real. Why would anyone want a fake rabbit? I don't know. Oops, someone's coming. Right, men. 
We must show that rabbit that we are not to be toyed with. Tonight's plan, number 16, is foolproof. Must we, sir? I'm starting to rather like the rabbit, sir. So am I, Jones. But that isn't the point, is it? Right then. Winding squad! Tank squad! Load up! Advance! Advance! Reverse! No, forward again! Oh, yes. Forward again! Right up! Left a bit, Jones! Right up! No, not right! Pull left, Jones! Stop your fool! Oh, no. Now hurry up! Hurry. Careful! Right. Uh, pay attention, man! Oh, go back! Go right back! Up. Come on, back! Right oh, stop! Yes, sir! Right then. Open the hatch, Jones! Um, sir? The hatch seems to be stuck. Never mind the hatch. Prepare to fire! Yes, sir. Elevation 50 degrees. 50 degrees. Why is it these toys never get put away before bedtime? Dash it all. I thought I told you not to leave your toys. Oh, no. <coughs> your parents. No. I must call the doctor at once. Oh, dear. You can do it up baby. She's getting up all by herself. Quick, get the camera. I knew you could do it. How did she do that? Pull the string. Press the button. Up the baby starting to stand. She gets The doll that stands up. She's new from Kenner. Milk, it does. <laughs> yeah. Papa Smurf, Gargamel stole all of our food, and I'm so hungry I could eat a house. I'll make something smurf delicious. What's Smurfy magic? Look, new Smurf popped up from Chef Boyardee. It's Smurfy good for you. There's even Papa Smurf special sauce. Wow. Smurfed again. Thank goodness for Chef Boyardee. It's Smurfy good. And now, this message. My little pony, baby pony. They're such cute ponies, everyone. My little pony, baby pony. Baby Cotton Candy. Baby Moon Dancer. I love to feed you with Baby Firefly. And put on your little diaper too. Each sold separately. My little pony, baby pony. You're like a dream. I love you, my baby pony. You're like My little pony, baby Firefly, comes with everything you see here. Other baby ponies sold separately from Hasbro. Watch Solid Gold Sunday afternoon at 2 on Channel 2. Now, back to our story. <clears throat> the boy is very ill. He'll need a good deal of rest. No excitement, you understand, and no visitors. <clears throat> We must make every attempt to contain the germs to this room. It was a long, weary time, for the boy was very ill. Day and night, his nana stayed by his side, and the little rabbit's sawdust heart ached so much to see the boy's pain. And he remembered the skin horse saying that sometimes to be real was to hurt. When the boy hugged him close for comfort, he felt very real indeed. 
through it all, the tossing and turning, the worrisome, sleepless nights, the little boy needed him most of all. <clears throat> you understand, the books must go. All the clothes from the bed and everything he used while he was sick. Don't worry, dear. We'll have all new things in no time at all. And you'll be going with your parents to the seashore for a holiday tomorrow. Absolutely everything must be burned. Certainly. That would be a good idea. Even this old thing? Surely it can't. That? Why, that's a veritable mass of germs. That, above all, must go. <clears throat> Wanted, sir. What do you take me for, Jones? A barbarian? I'd say it's time for a rescue, eh, Jones? Oh, yes, sir. All right, men. Execute Plan Blue. Get that knob, Jones. I'm trying to. Oh, watch it. Oh, look out. Oh, sir. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> Terrible fate for any toy. As night crept over the garden, he thought of the long, sunny days he had spent there with the boy. He saw each day pass before him, each seeming more beautiful than the last. His thoughts turned to his friend, the wise old skin horse, his first real friend. He thought of the wonderful day he first knew he was real. And then he thought of the boy. A deep sadness filled him. Of what use was it to be loved and lose one's beauty and become real if it all ended like this? And a tear, a real tear, trickled down his nose and fell to the ground. A tear can come only with real feelings. And that brought me to you. Be sad, little one. There are no endings, only beginnings. Now, we shall begin. I have brought a special friend. He's one of you now. Hey, that's the fake rabbit. Be kind and gentle to him and teach him all he needs to know. And he will live with you forever and ever. Every ending holds beginnings, and the story goes on. Tales of joy, and of fear, and of loving someone. But the real world of magic will forever unfold in the heart of a child.
he was a fake rabbit? Your love was real. And so you were real to the little boy. Now you'll be real to the world, little rabbit. Just like my old bunny. I wonder what happened to him. The one that I lost when I was sick. Come here. Don't be afraid. Only the skin horse knew the truth. But then, he had been in the nursery a long, long time. See.